So this week on the news, we've had a few uh, announcements. Namely, there's a new Mortal Kombat coming out. Woo! (laughs) Yeah. I I looked at video game history and video game movie history, rather. And we've actually had a couple of Mortal Kombat movies already. Um, Yes, we have. There was one in 1995, which, according to this website called Vulture, was the best video game film of all time but the sequel that shortly came after in 97 is one of the worst and i'm not sure we've had one since so harry have you had a look at that trailer uh yeah it actually looks all right as in sorry it's not gonna be any good i must preface it with that it will suck there's no question in my mind that this stupid plot of people killing each other during a tournament is going to be any good I don't know how that, you know, it's like they made a Dragon Ball film a few years ago. That was awful, and this will be similar. However, they spent a silly amount of money on it. It looks like, like it looked competent. There's no good actors. There's none at all. Oh, apart from there's the guy from The Dark Knight who says one big pot, and I can't remember the actor's name. But he's, he's, he's an all right actor. There's no one else famous. It, it, but CGI-wise, it looks okay. Yeah. I mean, so it doesn't make game, a film, but... Video game films are really interesting. So I said... The, that Vulture website had given it their best video game film of all time. We've got to put that into perspective. The, the highest Metacritic score for video, a video game film is in the 50s out of 100. And oh. they gave that Mortal Kombat film a 48% on Rotten Tomatoes as well. So it's not like these films are setting the world on, on fire. Um, but we, Tomatoes. We've had, we've had a... Uh, is that not right? <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds strange when you say it. I don't know. I thought that when I said Tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah, we are. There you go, yeah, yeah. It is tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes gave it 48%. Um, but yeah, there's actually been quite a few video game films, like more than you would think. We've had a Super Mario Bros. There are film. so many. We so about, many. And they're always bad. Sonic we talked about last week, didn't we? Um Oh, yeah. But, and that's one of the better reviewed ones. People actually liked Sonic in the end. Well, yeah, I was going to say, so Vulture gave that number three on their all-time list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? But when, this when is rubbish. Go, I mean... When we go down to the other end of the spectrum, like, we're talking films that are fundamentally shocking. So uh, let's have a look here. The Mortal Kombat um, sequel that I mentioned, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, that was released two years after the original. Harry, hazard a guess at maybe what Rotten Tom- Tomato score that, that was given? 14%. Two. 2%. Two? Yeah. It's the worst ranked film on the list. And it had a Metacritic <laughs> score of 11 out of 100. So, I mean... It just... It, I don't know. It doesn't make sense, though. Like, I'm looking at a still of the Super Mario Brothers film... It's just a fat dude with moustache and they put him in a red costume. That's not Super Mario. He's wearing blue. <laughs> Mario doesn't even have any. Who does the market research for these? Or like, there's a Doom film that came out, I think like the early thousands with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which he doesn't talk about very often, Dwayne. So if you're out there, maybe you should. What an awful... I think it's got Carl Urban as well, like the main guy from The Boys. It's rubbish. They're, they're all terrible. No I one love, can make any of these I films. I love these video games that have like the smallest semblance of a plot and they're like, let's make a film out of it. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? <laughs> so are you guys familiar? But even the ones that have quite big plots, you know, you've got like Assassin's Creed. I mean, that had Michael Fassbender and um, Marion Cotillard in it. And that was, I watched it on a train in Spain <laughs> and, it, and it was awful uh, who's making a <laughs> on a train in Spain these things? <laughs> should we a train it? in Spain that should be the episode name a train in Spain no um, it was just rubbish I mean yeah that, that was number 33 out of 35 on the list but you know even the cast they don't really mean anything like there was a need for speed film which for, for people that don't know it, it's a video game about racing like street racing um, there was a film in 2014 that had Aaron Paul and Rami Malek in it and that was really? number 30 out so, of 35 on this list. What I don't quite get about that is, like, why do they decide to make a film out of something when you've got franchises like Fast and Furious? Yeah. They've done it. And you're like, oh, but we've got a whole other audience who have played this game. It's like, no, people who've played this game 
like racing and will probably watch Fast and Furious and love that. They don't need a whole new franchise on TV. And the thing is, like, they make enough money surely off the games and that as a franchise in itself. Like, what? Why get into film where you've got to spend like hundreds of millions of dollars to produce something high quality and put it in cinemas, and it's just gonna completely flop and that they're based on games that don't even have a plot like how do you make a plot out of people racing cars on the street well i mean uh, I'll, I'll retract that statement straight away now that i've said it because you can obviously but you know the fun- i like the idea that aaron paul had just done the biggest role of his life in breaking bad and thought we should probably do a need for speed film i think that's probably a good career move isn't it let's Makes get on sense. that why not i, I bet you actually map absolute- it bomb off it to be fair oh yeah hit and Rami Malek as well I mean I don't know how much money they'll have been given for that but it'll be something stupid 